emphasizing the fact that man is a part of nature and instead of trying to conquer nature must cooperate and here is the Buddha not a god to be worshipped and obeyed but a man like ourselves called the Buddha as a title meaning the man who woke up who attained what is known throughout Asia as supreme enlightenment or awakening from the illusions under which ordinary people suffer. The Buddha is shown sitting in meditation in perfect peace and stillness because it is through meditation which in Zen Buddhism is known as Zazen or sitting Zen that one clears one's consciousness and is enabled to see the world as it really is. Meditation consists in stilling the mind and shutting off the stream of incessant chatter, the stream of thoughts which constantly goes on inside our heads and distorts our view of the world, calling attention only to tiny details and preventing us from seeing things whole. Through Zazen, one comes to a stillness which is exemplified in this sort of garden, which is at the monastery of Nanzenji in Kyoto by the great Koborienshu, famous for the gardens that he designed. Notice that it consists mostly of sand, of rocks, moss, and a few bushes. The sweeping emptiness of the sand, showing the value which Buddhism sets upon emptiness, upon space, which to most of us is mere nothingness, but it's understood in Buddhism that without space there can be no solid. Space and solid generate each other. In the same way, the tree, as the Zen poem says, manifests the bodily power of the wind. For without things against which the wind could move, by its transparency and invisibility we should never see it. And as the trees call forth the power of wind, solid things call forth the power of space. Now it's a fundamental principle of Buddhism that all life is changing and flowing away like water. This is not a pessimistic doctrine, as if everything is just going its way to death. It is rather that life itself is changed. It is a process of flowing. And we are mistaken when we try to resist this process and stop the flow by clinging to ourselves. We waste an enormous amount of psychic energy in anxiety in trying to resist the flow of life. But that is just like trying to possess this living water by catching it in a bucket. And we find